So now we'd like to share a short video clip of Congresswoman Bonamici explaining in her own words why she is leading a crusade to bring more arts education into kids' lives. The video. Here in Oregon, we have so many jobs, as is true in many places around the country, that are in the STEM field, science, technology, engineering, and math. But what is missing, and it's the arts, and that ability to educate both halves of the brain that make people creative. So I formed what's called the STEAM Caucus, uh, which is now a bipartisan group of legislators, up to uh, 79 bipartisan members who recognize uh, that it is very important for students to have arts uh, integrated into STEM subjects uh, so that students are exposed to the arts, so that we engage more students, and so that we have a creative and innovative workforce. So one of my goals when I went to Congress was to change No Child Left Behind. And I got on the Education Committee, and as one of my priorities, I kept advocating for more well-rounded education. And what we ended up with was the Every Student Succeeds Act. States now will be determining accountability. And importantly, I was able to add an amendment that uh, encourages the integration of the arts into STEM. So it's the first real STEAM policy in uh, federal law, and I'm very excited to have that incorporated in the Every Student Succeeds Act. Please join me in welcoming to receive the Congressional Arts Leadership Award, Representative Suzanne Bonamici. Well, thank you so much to Bob Lynch and Americans for the Arts and Tom Cochran of the United States Conference of Mayors for this recognition. Your advocacy is making a difference, and I thank you for your ongoing commitment to the arts and to arts education. I also need to thank my family, my mom, for raising me surrounded by arts and music, my husband, son, and daughter, true STEAM believers for always supporting me, and importantly, my talented and dedicated staff who work so hard with me to move forward policies that make a positive difference in the lives of Oregonians and Americans. The STEAM Caucus has been a refreshingly bipartisan effort to build support for the arts and especially for arts education. And I thank my co-chair, Representative Elise Stefanik from New York for her leadership. Caucus members understand that educating both halves of the brain is essential to a well-rounded education and for the future of our country and our innovation economy. We have a lot of challenges to address in our nation, and we need creative problem solvers to find better ways to do things, novel ways to use technology, and more effective and kinder ways to, to communicate. What can help accomplish this is investing in not cutting the arts. Now, someone who understands this well is our Hanks lecture speaker for this evening, Dr. John Maeda. I first met John more than three years ago when the STEAM caucus was only an idea. And if there's someone who knows how to transform ideas into reality, it's John Maeda. He was with us at the Capitol for our standing room only caucus kickoff and for several briefings afterward. Since then, I've wondered why. What makes John so passionate about STEAM? Why, when he was at MIT, was he advocating for the arts? And why, when he was at Rhode Island School of Design, was he advocating for integrating the arts into STEM? Well, it might have something to do with tofu. <laughs> John grew up in Seattle, and his family had a business making and selling tofu. Now, family business meant the kids worked there. So at an early age, John learned the value of making things and the connection between making things and making a living. And the path he has taken in life reflects this connection from MIT to RISD and now to venture capital, where he helps people with ideas 
turn them into reality, where he helps others turn making things into making a living. Now, John works a lot in the Silicon Valley, where he discovers and helps find funding for successful ideas. And what are those? Well, probably not tofu, but ideas where art and technology combine, where good design meets cutting edge products, where imagination leads to innovation that results in better ways to do things, where human dimension intersects with technology and thereby captures attention. And I know he will capture our attention this evening. So please join me in giving a very warm welcome to Dr. John Maeda. <laughs> 